Grace and peace. Welcome to this Sunday's Reflection. Just to put ourselves into context, uh, last week we celebrated the Feast of Pentecost. This week we celebrate the Most Holy Trinity. And next week followed by another rich liturgy of the Corpus Christi and then followed by the Feast of Saints Peter and Paul. So what about today's Feast of the Most Holy Trinity? Many theologians and students of theology find this particular aspect of Revelation a difficult one to explain. But let's not go down that track. Let's try to think of, or at least reflect, on the Most Holy Trinity as a relationship. Now, we know that most people long to find the perfect relationship in life. But many also believe that it doesn't exist. Scripture says, for men it is impossible, but for God everything is possible. Mark 10, 27. The relationship enjoyed by the three persons of the Holy Trinity, that is, the God the Father, God the Son, Jesus Christ, and God the Holy Spirit is the perfect relationship. It's a perfect relationship in terms of love and life. It's a perfect relationship equally shared and communicated in an eternal unity. In this sense, God is called the Most Holy Trinity. And he who is holy invites us to be holy. Leviticus 19.2, 1 Peter 1, 15 and 16. God invites us to be holy. There is something significant about that. It is because God made us in his image and likeness. Genesis 1, 26, 27. That is, the image and likeness of God is holiness. So the most holy trinity is a reflection of what we are called to be. So if we want to join this happy, perfect relationship, it means that we too have to be holy. So, at every Mass, when we make the sign of the cross, we're reminded that we are to be holy. We're also reminded at the beginning of every Mass, at the greeting which we hear in today's second reading from St. Paul's letter to the Corinthians, the second letter, uh, verse uh, 30, uh, chapter 13, verse 11 to 13, of those wonderful words that we have perhaps taken for granted over the years attending Mass. Let's read that, those words, uh, to conclude our little reflection today. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Happy Feast of the Most Holy Trinity.